Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for your presentation and your patience. We were just waiting for more participants to, to join in this webinar. We want to thank everybody again for another uh, of another session of the boot camp. The boot camp is one of the components in the TIC Americas program, the Italian Innovation Competition program, where we uh, provide uh, different trainings uh, online through webinars like this one with specialists and experts on several topics very important for the business development of your business, of the startups that are uh, leading their businesses. Uh, this topic of promotional video is also one of the requirements um, in the process of the application for the TIC Americas. So uh, this content is very valuable and we have a very special pre presenter, uh, Ms. Cynthia Villar who uh, is originally from Peru, and she has been uh, very supportive in, in spending her time and sharing her experience and knowledge with everyone in the program. Uh, Ms. Cynthia Villar is a alumni of UCIL. She's also the co-founder and CMO of MIO. She is a mentor at UCIL Ventures as well, uh, as well as a judge for competitions like Startup UCIL and Power. She was also awarded as Entrepreneur of the Year in 2017. And Cynthia is also the winner of Startup Peru, the G6 competition in 2018, where she won uh, about 50, over 15,000 US dollars. Cynthia has also has participated as a winner in the FinTech World 2019 program in Panama. Where she also won over 15,000. And she was a co-worker at the Ciudad del Saber for three months in Panama. Cynthia was also a participant uh, last year at the South um, event uh, held in Madrid. She was sponsored by the IE Business School to participate. Cynthia, as I mentioned, she's very involved with the UCID Ventures, which um, is an important partner of the program of the organization uh, of our organization, Young America's Business Trust. Also, a very important supporter of the TIC Americas uh, program every year. UCID Ventures incubator and business accelerator of the San Ignacio de Loyola, de Loyola University, UCID and that supports, that focuses on supporting Peruvian entrepreneurs and the development of their startups. Over the last years, uh, UCID Ventures has, 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 has supported uh, startups that have received over 15 million solas in investment funds. Um, there were about 170 of these startups that went through the venture uh, programs um, and, and who took who funding, and these startups had a profile of the industries, a um, uh, focus on the industries of bio business, hospitality, and industry. So they're the big promoter and a big player in the ecosystem in, in Peru as well, uh, UCIL Ventures. These businesses generated over 594 jobs with annual sales of about 5,200 um, US dollars, and their products have reached markets of Germany, Cuba, Australia, Brazil, Canada, among other markets. UCIL Ventures. Uh, is also the Incubator 2.0 contest, which was organized by the Peruvian Ministry of uh, Production uh, and their program of Innovate Peru, Innovate Peru, which also helped uh, uh, provide UCI Ventures uh, with some funding of up to 444,000 US dollars. UCI Venture has, has had over 600 Peruvian mentors trained, over 12 programs implemented, 40 startups incubated and accelerated in their program. 2,000 business models presented, organized over 185 entrepreneurs for the ecosystem there, and with over 18,000 attendees in these activities. They've also organized over 20 demo day pitches and have about 16 agreements with, institu with institutions of an entrepreneurial ecosystem in Peru. So they're very big player, and uh, we're very thankful for their support in this um, presentation as well. So um, I just want to give the, the word and, and, and presentation. I'm going to give access to Cynthia to show her presentation and thank her again. Um, this, this is important participation that she, she can provide to, wait one second, sorry, I'm just changing the presentation here. Important contribution she provides to the entrepreneurs, not only in Peru, uh, but through this program, she, she's also providing an important contribution to entrepreneurs all over Latin America and the Caribbean. So uh, I'll give the word to you, uh, Cynthia, thank you so much. And let me know if, if, it, if it's working on your, yes, I can see your presentation now. Thank you again yes. for, your, for your participation. Thank you, Rafael. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. And it's also a pleasure to be able to 
um, gather this audience to talk about this very important promotional um, tool that is uh, the marketing or promotional video for startups. So um, first of all, I want to welcome you all to this webinar, seminar. <laughs> Um, I also want to um, applaud you all for being entrepreneurs. I feel, as one, as an entrepreneur myself, I feel very connected. And, and I feel very honored when I'm talking to other entrepreneurs because I know how hard the road of entrepreneurship is. I know how difficult it can get and how we have to be very resilient and passionate to wake up every day and, and feel that we have to continue and we have to keep on going to get our start up where we want to see it. Um, it's a roller coaster of not only emotion, but emotions, but also um, troubles. And I believe that in the very end, we can all say that it's totally worth it. It's totally pleasable and, and we end up being super proud of what we're doing because we're not only changing the world, we're impacting lives, and we are creating a new ecosystem um, where new, our new companies will be the ones who guide. So being said that, I think we can start. Today, I have the um, opportunity to share with you a little bit of information. I don't know if it's brand new information. You might have heard about it. But it, it, um, we're going to try to make it as dynamic as possible. And so at the end, we're going to have uh, questions and answers time so that we can we can answer any questions that you have. I will also provide my personal contact information. So if you have any uh, additional questions or additional information that you would like to receive, I would be very pleased to reply each email or WhatsApp message. And we can also keep in contact because I know how important it is to encourage each other when we are together in this road. Um, as it has been said, uh, I have had the opportunity not only to work on the marketing side, but also uh, with start a startup that is my fintech. And um, it's, it's, it's been a year, last year has been a year of trips. So I, I understand what contests are. I have had the chance to be in Brazil, in Panama, in Colombia, in Chile, twice in, in um, where else, in the States for our incubation process. And I, I believe that this only widens all the possibilities that you as startups have. And I'm so glad that you can take advantage of tools like this to continue growing. So let's move on. Let's see if this helps. OK. So why is it important to have video content to represent our startups? And it's because we as people tend to engage more with video tools or graphic tools than we do with any other type of content. When we just listen, if I were just saying the words and you weren't seeing anything on the screen, your attention spam and what your retention is would be much less than what is now because you can connect my words to something visual. And that is the basis for video content. So according to the molecular biologist John Medina, if humans, if ourselves, we hear a piece of information, we will remember only 10% of it after three days. But if we hear the information and we add an image to it, being it um, a flat image, you know, that it's a um, steady image, or if it's a video, we will remember 65% of such information, which really changes the equation. And that's where we want to get. The reason why it's very logic, video engages all of our senses. So we're not only listening, but we're also connecting our emotions. We're also seeing something. And more of our senses are in one place. It also helps us uh, be less biased in terms of perspective, because we don't need to create a picture for all we're hearing, but we already have a picture that shows exactly what we're saying. So the connection is it's deeper, and it's heart to heart. And what is a promotional video then? A promotional video is any corporate video, any corporate piece of audiovisual material that businesses use for marketing purposes. 
So we are a business, we need something to reach our audience, we need something to reach our clients, we need something to apply to contests, and that's where a video, a high quality video can help us. And depending on the environment in which we're seeing the video, we can um, relate to this video to different categories. It can be an interview, it can be a scripted drama, it can be an animated sequence uh, or a case study presentation, it can also be a testimonial. There are several kinds of videos but they all end up being an audiovisual piece that will help us engage with our audience. And that's when we ask what is right and what is wrong. And the only thing that will make it be right, and this is going too fast, is if we get to the audience with the message that we wanted to transmit. So if whoever sees our video ends up understanding what we wanted to say, we are on the right path. And that's the only thing we have to make sure that when we present our audiovisual piece, when we present our video, the audience is connecting with the final message that we wanted to show. And the message can vary, and I will tell you a little bit more about this in a little bit. So what elements does a strong promotional video have? And we have a few elements here. I will show them also, and, and we'll go one by one then. There. So it must go beyond your pitch. Um, we are used to pitching. We are always pitching, and that's what we're used to doing. So our video doesn't have to necessarily be our pitch, unless we're talking about a video for a, a competition or for applying to um, any of these contests or programs. If not, if it's for clients, if it's for, for our customers, for desired targets, we do not have to go with the pitch, but we have to be more open to adding more information. It, it has to open with a personal bond, and it's very important. If you use the main character or the, the main um, actor in your video to look at the camera, to engage with your audience, that would be a very good thing to do because you're talking to the person who is looking at you, and, and that adds a different value to the result. You also must make sure that you arouse curiosity. We have to make sure that when the person finishes watching our video, they want to know more about us, they want to know where we are, what we do, and if they haven't answered all the things we wanted them to answer themselves, they can go and look on our website or look on our social media and have more information about us. We have to make an irresistible offer because there are so many things being offered today and only those irresistible are the ones that will end up being caught. We must also play with rhetoric questions. And why we do that? Because we have um, objections. When people want to buy from us, they have different questions that they ask themselves to know if we are the right fit or not, if we um, do everything they want or not, if we solve their problem or not. And that's where we can play with rhetoric questions to make sure that we answer those objections be, even before being asked. We must highlight our advantages in a nice and soft way. We don't want to put any pressure on the person who's watching the video, but we want them to know why we're different. We must add value. And as startups, that is not something difficult to do because we have a lot of value because we have created our startup to solve a problem. And therefore, there that only is already an added value. So we can say we are changing the world, or we're changing your life, or we are changing the way you see things. So what is our added value? Then we have to have a call to action that is the connection to where we want to lead those who have watched our video. It's either they, we want them to buy from us, or we want them to check our, our information, or we want them to check us in our social media channels. So whatever it is, we have to make the call to action line. And it's really nice if you can close with a catchy tagline um, of how cool it is, or how great it is, or how you want that, so um, that it also stays in the brains and the minds of those who watch you and, and stay with that message for the future. And why every startup needs a promotional video. Some reasons that are very important are 
uh, because we want to promote our products or services, because we want to show them what we're doing, and we want to present our products or services, or also because we want to explain or present a new concept to the market or to the audience in general. We want to present um, why we're changing something or the way we're proceeding to change something with our startup, and that helps a lot to highlight our differentials and, and point out why we must be chosen over other solutions, the million of solutions that are in the market available. So we have to highlight why we're different, why we're unique, our uniqueness. That's what will end up um, caught in, uh, doing the, um, the process of catching the attention of your audience. Then we have to, uh, we can also reach a broader audience than only with our social media. This is something where I want to um, stop a little bit and say something that I always teach my students and, and speak with those who I mentor. Because um, nowadays there's a misconception of marketing and we tend to think or connect marketing with social media. We say that marketing is social media and it's not. Social media is part of the marketing options and it's one that is very important, but it's not the main one necessarily. And we must know who we're reaching to, who we're selling to, who is gonna be our target if we have clients and users, or if we have only clients, or if we have only users, we must know what to use where, because sometimes you need um, other techniques of direct marketing or more traditional marketing such as radio broadcasts or we want to use uh, or we want to make start an event and that's where we want to connect with people so we have to make sure that we use the 360 you know in marketing instead of just social media or just a video or just isolated solutions because we're not going to engage our audience in the right um, amount. Also, we can use it as part of the sales team kit. And this is something that is very important for startups because when we start, we as the co-founders or founders are the ones who go pitching everywhere and showing why we're doing what we're doing. And there's a passion and stamina that comes only from us, you know, as being the parents of the kid we're the ones who will say all the wonders that our product or service does. But when we need to grow and we need to increase our team and we must hire people to be part of the sales team, this changes because they won't have the same passion or the same stamina. They won't have the same love that we have. And therefore, their pitch or the way they explain the product may vary. And so if you have a promotional video, you can always open the meeting, showing the promotional video. And then after that, you can continue with the sales meeting and, and make sure that it's something that standardizes for all your meetings. So what are the steps to make it happen? And, and I think here is the most important part of the presentation because it's where I will try to show you how to do it or will give you ideas on how to do it. And, and this is where I want you to pay attention because in the end, I, I wish I could receive so many videos of so many of you and make sure that you all were capable and able to do it. And here are the steps. So step number one for me would be identify our goal. What's the goal that we want for this video? Do we want brand awareness or do we want to drive our sales or do we want to get traffic? Do we want to increase our customers' engagement or do we want to educate our customers on what we're doing? So we have to identify why we are doing this piece of marketing, why we're working on this, why we're creating this high-impact video. And this is like our 101 planning. Normally, as people who are always creating and startuppers, we live a life of very fast-paced decisions making and here we have to stop a little bit and think what we want because we want something that will have a reach that will have a message that will have a content that will get to our audience and we must make sure that we have planned it that we have prepared our strategy before we move on so step number two and i'm sorry here translation has not been done 
but we have the, the information in, in English. So choose your direction. What is your direction? Do we want to make it an introductory video telling our audience who we are, explaining our mission, vision, such as a video that you do for applying to a contest? Do we want to make it explanatory and explain how something works, like how our product features work or how our service works and what we're going to do? Another option is to show problem solution. We present a problem and then we follow up with the solution to this problem and we show the old way and the new way and how we have found the solution to the problem. We can also make a narrative and use story elements like the plot, conflict, and resolution to introduce or explain something. It can drive action, get the audience to do something such as shop now or buy now or subscribe now. We can make it product focused and introduce a showcase showing specific product features. We can make it testimonials and testimonials is very important for me. It's an interview or quotes or sound bites where you show who has tried your product or services and, and is now ready to share this with the world and how happy they are with what they have tried. Testimonials are for me unique pieces that help you sell because you connect with what others tell you and it's like for example if i'm going to buy something before buying instead of just checking the website and seeing all the options i will go and ask those who are important for me and say hey have you bought this have you tried this and that's where the testimonials take part when when we reach out to someone who has already tried it and can convince us of doing the same. And that's why testimonials must be very natural. The more natural, the more credible. And that's why I suggest so. Try to make it without showing a speech that has been over-prepared or without showing that you have trained the person to say what they want to say, but try to make it as natural in terms of scenery, in terms of wording, in terms of plot and everything so that it looks real unique and it caught, it gets to catch the people's attention. Um, it can be endorsement. You can use a celebrity or an influencer to show what you're doing. It can also be informative and finally entertaining. You can delight or inspire your audience with something that can be amusing, a story, using humor, etc. Then you must define the duration I'm sorry, you must define the tone of your, of your video. So what, what is the tone? And the tone is what language we're going to use to reach our audience. We can make it dramatic, which moves you emotionally, such as the, some of the videos that they do for the Olympics, for example, are very dramatic. We can make it straightforward and informative. It can be a conversational video. We can use an urgent tone, like, I don't know, this million, People are dying every day and we need you to do this. It can be fun and playful or humorous. And here um, I ask you to be very careful because sometimes when we make it humor, humorous or when we make it playful, we must be careful of what audience we're reaching. If we are reaching an audience that we know beforehand, then we can play with this. But if we are reaching a broader audience, some things that might be funny for me might not be funny for you. And some things that might be humorous for me might not be humorous for you. And we have to make um, sure that we are very careful about that. Also, if we're working on different countries, um, we must make sure that the tone and is, is for all the countries. Like when we make our videos, for example, we, we go to all Latin America. So whenever they're not in English, we try to use a language that would apply to all the countries in the same sense and that will not bring any idea that we don't want to what we're showing. After you have identified your goal, you chose your direction, and you define the tone, we can go to the duration of the video. And here, I would be very, very specific because I do not recommend any video that is longer than a minute and 30 seconds because that's the attention spam that you have from your audience. That's what your audience will give you when they're busy, you know, people are in the middle of something. So they will watch up to a minute, a minute and 30 seconds, and that's when they're going to say, okay, this is it. Therefore, we have to try to be 
between the minute and even a minute 10 or a minute 20, if you want to go further, go to a minute 30, but that's it. And, and that's a preset duration that I recommend. Then we have to define the style. And in the style, we have uh, options as well. We might make it animated, which is illustrated. Uh, it's, it's something that is called infomercials. We might use real people. We can also use a bunch of images and make it like a row of images. We can use a whiteboard and present information uh, written in a whiteboard. Or it can also be the shape of an iPhone or a tablet, and you can show inside what, you're, what is happening. So you have different options on the style that you want to use. Then you have to plan your context. And this is very important because we tend to think that making a video is easy <laughs> and, and that we just say what we want to say and that would be OK. But we have to make sure that we pay attention to the content because if not, in the end, the results will not be as expected. And the, the message that is the main part of the video will not get to our audience the way we intended. And therefore, we're going to be wasting time and money if you pay. So in, our, in terms of planning our content, we have to make sure we know how many scenes we're going to have, um, how many different scenes we're gonna, uh, will, will be included and how many characters will we have, if, if we're going to have people, how many people are going to talk, how they're going to interact one with another, if we're going to have audio, or we're going to do a voiceover, or we're going to write text overlay. We will also have to see if the video will have any surround, specific surrounding, or if we're going to make it in an office. So we have to make sure that we plan the content that goes with all the steps before to make sure that we have something clear. Then we write a script. And here, um, I'm going to be a little bit more flexible because the script doesn't have to be read. If it's read, then it doesn't sound real. And then the result is the piece doesn't work. So um, write a script that will allow you to know the keywords that you want mentioned in the video and make sure that you cover them all, uh, but very natural. Uh, again. The more natural, the better your video will be. Then you can use a storyboard if you want. It's, this is not mandatory, but it's also good to have. And for example, if you are working with an infomercial that has different graphs, then the storyboard will help you um, find logic to, you, to your story and, and will be a plus. Then comes the production process, when is when you get the cameras, you get the mics, you get everything and start shooting. You have to make sure that you have prepared everything. This is very important that you have already the people ready to act. If you have actors, if you have the animator ready to work, if you are doing animation, that you have your text, that you have you you have chosen your tone, that you have defined your style, and you're ready to roll. And then post-production process comes with this. If you want to add captions or script, if you want to add subtitles, sometimes that's good too. You can. Doing, uh, you can start with, by having a video in English and then add subtitles, and that will help you reach a broader, even broader um, audience. Now I'm going to go with an example. And this is our video as a startup. We, I will do two repetitions. The first time, I want you to see it completely. And then the second time, I will pause and go over the different sections so that we understand what we're doing here. ¿Cuántas veces has usado organizar las cuentas de tu negocio y tus cuentas de manera fácil y rápida? No, para necesitar las compras como para seguir creciendo, pero no para necesitar. Creo que encontré la solución. Yo me sigo. Un aplicativo que me permite integrar mis cuentas de ahorro en un solo lugar, alcanzar objetivos de ahorro, inversión y poder pagar todas mis deudas. Y sobre todo, acceder a servicios financieros que se acomoden a mis necesidades. Pero yo no tengo una cuenta bancaria. No te preocupes, mi objetivo te deberá tener una cuenta digital. Pues chévere, yo también quiero usarlo. Para más información, visita mi bolsillo.p. Ok. And I'm going to replay it and I'm going to pause. Ok. First here. If you see, it says Mercado San Felipe de Surquillo. So we're showing people where we are. This is a real place. This exists. If you come to Peru and you go to the Mercado, you will find it. So this is a market. 
it's a public market, it's open to everyone, and everyone can know where it is. And even for our customers that are here in Peru, it's even more real because they totally understand where we are shooting the video. Here is the focus of the person who's acting towards the camera and it's talking to you. She's a secondary actor and what she's doing is clarifying what he's saying in a rhetorical way. She's saying, and even more when this and this happens. So she's reinforcing the message while clarifying the information that he has given. And then he tells you he found the solution. The solution is Miguel to you. And we show the features and how we do it. Then she has a question that's a rhetorical question again. She says, but I don't have a bank account. So she's saying, okay, if I don't have a bank account, I don't qualify or, or how would you solve it? And here we're auto answering ourselves and it says, do not worry because me will see you will help you have a digital bank account if you don't have one. This is our catchy line where she says, how cool, I want to use it. Or I also want to use it. And then we have the call to action. For more information, visit miboltillo.pe, which is miboltillo.pe, that is our website. So if you see everything that I have shown you. Oops. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Technical problems. Okay. So you can see that everything that has been shown in the previous slide, every step that we have mentioned, has been a process to get our video. And it's really funny, but our video didn't cost any more than $200. So if you think that the problem is that you don't have enough money and therefore you cannot have your own video, or if you think that, oh my gosh, but we're starting, I'm more of a finances person instead of an audiovisual, I'm not someone who knows about marketing or communications. Well, guess what? Everyone can have a good marketing and promotional video in a very easy way. There are several tools available. Some of them are even free. Some are, have very low fees to pay. Um, what we did in our case is we prepared everything. We went to the market where my co-founder always buys and his mom always buys, so we talked to the lady that always sells products to them, and we said, please let us use your space. She was super happy to do it because she thought it was gonna be popular afterwards <laughs> because we were gonna show the video to so many people. Then we called a couple of friends and we said, do you wanna help us and act? And they said, yes. One is a Venezuelan, one is Peruvian because we also wanted to show diversity and that we can reach everyone here. Um, and at the beginning, she was supposed to be the main actress, and then he was going to be the support one, but she couldn't memorize the whole thing or, or have the whole idea of what we wanted her to say. So we shifted because you also have to be flexible and be able to adapt yourself if something doesn't work exactly as you expected. And then we um, talked to a friend of mine who owns a, a media company, and, and I said, hey, help us, we're gonna invite you lunch, we're gonna treat you to lunch, you and your team. And he got us a camera and the microphones and everything and we were able to shoot our video in one full day. We started at eight in the morning and we finished at 4 p.m. and we were ready. And then the post-production was also help from another friend who was able to do all the editing. You can do the editing yourself if you know uh, tools such as iMovie, uh, for example, um, will help you a lot. If you don't, then you can always ask for extra help. Uh, something that it's harder to do in iMovie is when you want to insert images while you have the, um, the person talking. That's something that for us was very complicated and that's where we needed extra help. But you might 
end up finding that you're more um, audiovisual than you think, and you can, and more techy than you think, and you can also do it yourself. So after all this, I want to go to the Q and A round and answer all your questions because this is the most important part. Where if there are questions, I, I wish we had enough time to answer. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Sorry, my my no, my mute is on. Thank you. Um, fantastic. Thank you so much for the very concise and practical um, advice and presentation that you provided. We we have some uh, some time now for some question and answer. I wanted to ask the participants. You can either ask a question by raising the the hand button that's next to your name. Or below, the box called questions, where you can type out some questions. So I, I wanted to first give some time for people to think about if you have some questions. We welcome uh, and live interaction with Cynthia. You can take advantage of this opportunity. Um, just a few few seconds here, Cynthia. Let's see. Yeah, sure. If there are any questions, if not, I can also um, provide my information, and questions can be answered afterwards. No. Well, can you put that screen now, please? Can you put your contact sure. information? I think it's it's valuable for everybody to already sure. have there. that on. Yes, thank you. Uh, if we keep that, well, even the people who are going to be watching uh, this afterwards. Say that again. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello, Cynthia. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, well, uh, obviously. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, we ask you if you can share with us some of the platforms the the, the people can can use in order to create their own video. Yes, I'm going to prepare a list as agreed with um, those who are in the webinar in Spanish, and I will send you the list so that you can share it with everyone in English as well. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Cynthia. Uh, let, let's see if we have any questions here. We we have a question. Um, let's see. A few participants. D don't be shy. It's an opportunity to actually talk to <laughs> an entrepreneur, an expert in this topic. Take advantage. You can raise your hand on the button there, and I can unmute you, or you can write your questions um, below. Maybe everything was so clear they don't have any questions. <laughs> Actually, Cynthia, let me ask you as well, because um, this is something that I, I also always have in my own self as an entrepreneur and working with entrepreneurs. The, you, what is the ideal time frame for videos? How long videos should, uh, should, should be provided so that people don't lose you know, their interest and, and can be focused? What's the yeah. ideal time frame? Sure. As mentioned before, I believe that more than a minute, 30 seconds is already past time. And I think that's the attention spam that where, where we can have our audience totally focused. Um, there might be other videos where you have more time, such as um, when you apply to contests or competitions or any other programs, like, and they give you up to five minutes. So we, for example, have one ourselves that is two minutes and 28 seconds. And of course, we want to make it the shorter the better. So. If, if you have to move after the minute and 30 seconds, you can. But the optimal will be that. And if you have to pass, do not pass more than three, please, <laughs> because that would already be too much. Fantastic. No, great. We have someone. I'm going to unmute the mic of Fabricio Bentin. One second, please. Fabricio, let me unmute so you can actually ask directly. Fabricio, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So welcome. Thank you again. Uh, you, you feel, feel free to ask your question if you want. Yes, I want to ask something regarding the production process because Cynthia said that it cost less than $200. So my question is regarding the production process, which is the steps, this, this step of the production process which cost the most, uh, talking about your experience on doing these kind of videos. 
Yes, for us, what actually cost the most, since we were asking favors, it was um, renting some of the things that we needed and buying a few um, things like the aprons that they were wearing. We also bought a few vegetables and fruits from the lady who let us use her um, place in the market. And we ended up paying a little bit to the post-production person because he took long hours working on us. But um, that's where our cost was based. But normally, um, it would be, I think, in getting the cameras or the, um, well, the hardware to film. That's, what, that's where most people spend the most money. And the post-production process, if you cannot do the post-production yourself and you have to hire a freelance, that will cost you maybe, I don't know, um, $10 or $15 the hour, depending on how many hours they work for you. Thank you. Sure. Do you have any other questions for you? Uh, not for now. Um, maybe there are some other people which are trying to do their questions. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, great. You know we don't have direct questions. Um, I want to remind everybody, if you're shy and, and want to ask a question now, you can reach out to Cynthia in her email. And also, this session is being taped. So you, you can review back to what was presented. It will be on the website of YBT uh, Bootcamp. Let, let me just put that website up right here really quickly. Yeah so that uh, we can see. One second, please. Oops, um, let me put it here. Uh, one, one second. So I want to also share the, the links for everybody to, to know um, the website of the competition we're talking about, which is tcamericas.net. And, on, and through the website to tcamericas.net, you can access the boot camp where you will see this video and the many other videos that other um, uh, professionals have provided with, in, with important content for your business. So um, we, we want to just everybody, I, perhaps any, any final uh, wisdom, wisdom, Cynthia, you want to share with everybody or motivational, um, I, I, I give the floor to you and, and then we can just end the session. Thank you so much. Um, sure, just just a quick um, closure maybe um, that if you haven't been able, because I know that now it's lunchtime for, for some countries and if you haven't been able to get connected or to see the presentation and you will see it afterwards, please feel free to write or ask um, whatever question you have. I'm very happy and open to help. And also if you want any other marketing information, because that's my background in marketing, and I know how important it is to have someone you can reach out to when you have any questions. So if you want to talk about social media, if you want to talk about um, how you prepare your flyers or how you train for a pitch. So any information that you might want surrounding the, the topics of marketing or entrepreneurship, I'll be very, very happy to help and support. And um, congratulations again for being part of this process, number one, and for being entrepreneurs yourself. I applaud that, and I wish you all the best. No, thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you to the, the USIL Ventures uh, program, which is which you also participated in, and it's very important that uh, these kind of players in the ecosystem continue supporting entrepreneurs in all of our countries. We can definitely be sharing this video this uh, webinar session to the hundreds of entrepreneurs that are already in America's program. As mentioned before, this topic is one of the requirements they have in the process of Teak Americas. But the video will be saved in the boot camp forever. So future entrepreneurs will also have access. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. Thank you, Cynthia, again. And um, thank you, Usil Ventures, and the whole team, for putting this together and supporting the entrepreneurs in the Americas. Have a great day. Thank you so much, everyone. Our pleasure. You have a great day as well. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.